You know, the city of Denver didn't waste any time ordering those electric scooter companies to pick up and scoot out of town, but they don't seem to be in much of a hurry to no, do so. No, they don't. And you can still see them just all over downtown. Russell Haythorn is live tonight. And Russell, they were told to get out, so why aren't they getting out? Well, Shannon, that seems to be their tactic. They come in and flood the streets of any given city with these things and let the chips fall where they may. They've already been banned in some cities throughout the country, and now the city of Denver says they're not playing by the rules here either. When they first hit the streets around Memorial Day, a spokesman for Lime Scooters told Denver 7 they were just going to wing it. I think for now we're going to take a look, see how everybody takes to them, see if everybody likes them, and we'll go from there. The city isn't liking them. The scooters, both Lime and Bird, dropped on the streets with virtually no notice, like kamikazes coming out of nowhere. It took the city a few weeks to wrap its head around the issue, and this week it banned them temporarily. But take a look at Lime's app today. You can still find plenty of them. Today, the city said we confiscated a handful of scooters last week and about the same number this week. A city ordinance says you can't store goods, wares, or merchandise in public. So because the scooters have no docking stations, they're illegal. Despite being told by the city to get out, the scooter companies don't seem eager to comply. Lime only says it looks forward to working with the city to legalize the zippy people movers. Bird had no comment today. While the city could create an emergency regulation to keep the scooters, Public Works indicated it has no plans to do so. Users say they're convenient, but understand the city's need for rules. I think that's fair. I think there should be a little, some regulations. I think people aren't sure whether we should be riding them in the street, on the sidewalk, in the bike lanes. I mean, obviously with the whole thing, people leaving them kind of wherever and not being very regulated, um, bound to come into some issues there. This action by the city of Denver is not unprecedented. The city of Santa Monica, California, did something similar earlier this spring and impounded a bunch of these things. But Austin, Texas, took a different approach. Its city council passed emergency rules to keep these bad boys on the streets. We're live in Denver tonight. Russell Haythorn, Denver 7. All right, good to know. Thank you, Russell.